Good morning. It is the second Sunday of January in 2022. As we start a new year, many of you may see in your families a new calendar. It might look like this. If your parents are super tech savvy, it might be that your family schedule is on a phone. Mine is not so fancy. Um, you may even have one like this, but mine tends to be more day by day and week by week where I have uh, lines on my calendar where I can fill in with a time and an appointment or an event. My guess is your family has some kind of calendar so your family knows when you're supposed to be in school, when you're supposed to go to the dentist or the doctor or go see a friend or a relative, have a play date, lots of reasons why we keep a calendar. Already in 2022, some of the things that have been on our calendar have changed. My daughter is a teacher in Virginia, and she went back to Virginia over the weekend in order to resume school this week, like many of you have done. However, in Virginia, they have had a lot of snow, and so far, she has not been able to return to school because the roads are closed. Uh, there is no electricity. She and her husband have not had electricity for over 48 hours, and they're hoping today, fingers crossed, that they might get power. So not sure when she'll be going back to school. My point is, we can make the best plans. We can plan that vacation. We can plan the best thing that is going to happen to us for a given day, and sometimes those plans change. And what I want you to remember is that no matter what plans come, what happens in 2022, that God holds our future. As we look to a new year and all the expectation that comes with a new year, we really don't know how our calendar is going to change. But what we do know is that God holds the future. And that is what I want us to remember. No matter what comes, God is with us and God is not going to leave us. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the promise of a new year. We ask that regardless of what happens in the coming year, that we will trust you and know that even in uncertain times, we know that you hold our future. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, friends.